Hello everyone, hope you are doing great. I am Sampat. Today I will show you how to collect our targeted angel investors information using Crunchbase Pro. If you watch this video up to end, I will show you exactly how we can utilize Crunchbase filters to gather our targeted investors information. Or if you want me to help you by providing your targeted investors information, you can also directly contact me. I mentioned my contact details in the description box. You can directly message me on WhatsApp. Like whatever your requirement is, suppose for example, if you are looking for investors who invest into a particular industry or like uh, you are looking for particular location investors or number of investors they invested, anything related to that, I can have a chance to help you with that. Not only investors information, if you are looking for any kind of B2B contact list building, like for example, LinkedIn data scrapping, whatever your search results are LinkedIn or LinkedIn sales navigator, I will scrap all the results and I will try to provide you possible verified email IDs and possible dialing information. Or if you are looking for Instagram scrapping, for example, if you have any competitors pages, we can have a chance to scrap that competitors pages followers publicly mentioned email IDs and contact information. Or we can scrap hashtag based information or we can collect social media influencers information based on their um, location, niche and followers count. Or if you are looking for e-commerce stores information, we can collect that information. Or if you are looking for recently funded companies decision makers information, like last month funded companies decision makers information, we can also have a chance to collect that information. Uh, or like local business data, like Google Maps scrapping or yellow pages scrapping, anything related to B2B data and web scrapping, I can help you with that. If you have any requirements related to that, you can contact me directly. As I said, I mentioned my contact details in the description box. You can directly message me on WhatsApp. Now let us jump into the Crunchbase Pro. So if you can see here, this is a Crunchbase Pro website. So already I have subscribed to the Crunchbase Pro. So yeah, make sure you need to subscribe for accessing this information. So once we subscribe, if we can go to the investor sections. Suppose for example, if you can see here, investor section, this is the investor sections. So once we see the investor section, you can see how many investors information are available on Crunchbase. So these are the company's information and some are the individual information also. Now we can utilize these filters to gather our targeted ones. Suppose for example, if you are looking for targeted location investors. So here I just simply go to the headquarters location. So once I go to the headquarters location here, I just simply enter my targeted headquarters location. Now here I just selected United States. So once we select the United States, so you can see now uh, the information here will change. Now we can see 96k results. So these are the companies, some are individual investors also. Now I don't want companies information. Now I need individuals or angel investors information. So if you can see the type, here I just selected individual or angel. So once I select, now I can see 21k approximately results. So these are the individual or angel investors. So suppose for example, if I scroll down a little bit more, see number of investments. For example, I need investors who invested into minimum two companies. So because uh, investors who invested in one company, so they might be not shown much interest actually. So here I have mentioned here too. So once I entered to now we can see the 8,155 results. So now I've scrolled down a little bit more. So once we scroll down a little bit more, we can have a chance to see a lot of filters here. So now I'm going to the investments here, this filter. So once I go to that filter, we can have a chance to see more options. Suppose for example, investments located in, we can have a chance to filter based on that. Our investment history. Suppose for example, I need investors who invested into the SaaS companies. So suppose for example here industry, I'm just simply entering SaaS. So here once I enter SaaS, uh, this tool also will suggest the industry. So now I just simply enter here SaaS. So once I select the SaaS, then we can have a chance to see here different results. Now 2619 results. So now I scroll down a little bit more. So here you can see the investment at this funding stage. Suppose for example, I need investors who invest into pre-seed stage. So if you can click the pre-seed stage, then you can see 942 results. So for example, I can say these are my targeted investors. Now we can have a chance to filter more also, like how much investments they invested. So we can have a chance to view based on that. Now we can see we have selected our targeted ones. Once we select our targeted ones, now we can see 942 results. Now I will scroll down a little bit slowly. Now we can see whatever the information is available here. See, you can see all the information here. We can just simply click the edit view. Suppose for example, whatever, if, you, if we don't want some filters, we can have a chance to edit those filters and we can keep it whatever we want. Now we can see the person information here. We can see all the information here. 
Suppose, for example, basic information. So I have selected each and every every filter. So if we don't want anything, like we can just remove those ones. So once we select our targeted ones, we can just simply click Apply Changes. So then after that, we can just simply select here, select all. So once we select all 50 items selected, no, for example, I did all the results. I'm just simply selecting all. So we can just simply export the information. So once we export the information, you can see if we want to export all the results or if we want to export particular uh, amount of results and just simply select all, I can click export. So once we export, we can have a chance to export the, this file. So now here, if you can see already, I have exported this file and uploaded it into Google Sheet. Now we can see all this information, for example, person name. So number of investors, number of investments, number of exists, location, LinkedIn URL. So we can see description, so investors type and portfolio, gender, uh, regions, so description, uh, so company name, like investment related information. See, we can see all the information here. See investment stage. See, we can have a chance to access all this information. So now we don't have a chance to see email here, throw an email uh, using the subscription. So if we want emails, like we can use tools like find that need, so we can just simply upload all those LinkedIn URLs. This tool will generate possible email IDs. After that, we need to download and verify the data and use it. The, otherwise, like we can also use tools like Nimbler. So we can upload it and we can gather that information. So hopefully you will understand about how we can have a chance to utilize Crunchbase Pro to gather our targeted angel investors information. So if you have doubts in this process, please comment in the video comment section. I will definitely reply to your comment. Or like as I said, if you need my data services, like if you are looking for investors information, you can also directly contact me. I will provide you that information. Like whatever the B2B contact list building and web scrapping services, like as I said, like e-commerce stores information, or social media influences information, or like LinkedIn data scrapping, or local business information, or like uh, uh, Google Maps or Yellow Pages information, anything related to B2B data and web scrapping services, I can help you. So you can just simply click this link and it will redirect to my WhatsApp. So thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.